eyewitness news starts with a severe weather alert. And we start off with that tornado warning that includes the east end of Galveston Island and part of the Bolivar Peninsula. I'm Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog. Here's what we're seeing on radar. A very intense supercell thunderstorm has just skirted the east end of Galveston Island, prompting a tornado warning from the National Weather Service. The good news right now for Galveston is the circulation is off to the east and will miss you. The good news for now along, for those of you in the Bolivar Peninsula, is the circulation remains offshore and it has weakened from what we saw earlier that prompted the tornado warning. But we can easily see something try to spin back up here as this works its way towards Crystal Beach. So you might be watching in Crystal Beach and you're not yet in that tornado warning. I want to tell you this is the one you want to shelter from just in case that circulation does end up coming your way. Here's the loop of the velocity and you can see there's this very bright area of yellow, red, and green all coming together just southeast of Galveston, the city of Galveston and the Strand. But that circulation has shown some signs of weakening. Those bright greens indicate wind speeds of over 60 miles per hour. So even if this is not producing a tornado. It could still be producing some very gusty winds. Our view down looking at Seawall Boulevard has improved dramatically just in the last five minutes as the core of that storm has quickly moved away from Galveston Island. So drawing a future track on the circulation that we're seeing on radar, if this continues on that path, it could be impacting Crystal Beach here within the next 15 to 20 minutes. So it's possible we could see a new tornado warning issued. At this time, the circulation looks like it will also miss Port Bolivar to the southeast as it continues to work its way in an east-northeasterly direction. I've also got some data I'm monitoring right here on this iPad just to give you the most up-to-date, and it does look like the circulation has um, has broadened out a bit, but still producing some very gusty winds, so we're going to keep a close eye on that. In addition to that tornado threat, we also have the possibility of some street flooding across mainland Galveston County. This is a zone that's picked up over three inches of rain, much of that in the last few hours, as those heavy thunderstorms continue to train over the same location. Meanwhile, in Houston, things are okay. We've got a few spotty showers, but no serious thunderstorms. And then there's this line off to the northwest. That line of thunderstorms is producing some gusty winds of 30 miles per hour and the potential for some pea-sized hail. The tail end of that line is going to basically parallel our track right along I-10 into the northern half of Houston later on this evening. It'll also dump a quick half inch to inch of rain and could lead to some minor street flooding. And the power may flicker due to the, how electrified that line is. But the immediate concern right now is is the possibility of this circulation that's approaching uh, the Bolivar Peninsula and Crystal Beach. It does again look like for those of you in Galveston, if your phones were tripped by that tornado warning, you were in the clear from the spinning part of that thunderstorm, although we still have some heavy rain and some loud rumbles of thunder. I'm going to keep a watchful eye on this circulation. If I start to see it spinning back up or it starts to get really close to land, I'll hop right back on. Otherwise, I'll see you again for your full forecast where we talk about how things are going to evolve through the rest of the night. Myra? All right, Travis, we'll get right back to you if we need to. Thank you. Now to breaking news in Northwest Harris County. The Sheriff's Office is on the scene of a wild shooting at Highway 249 in Antoine. So let's take